All right, so I recently got this Sky Genius security camera that is, you're supposed to be able to hook it up to your cell phone and just view it on your computer. That's why I was pretty interested in this because you don't need all of the different pieces and parts and all the stuff that can add up. Um, with this, you can get the app for your smartphone or the program for your computer and you can get, set up like four of these or even more, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, my initial impression, and then I'll go ahead and set this up and download the apps and see how easy that is. Uh, my initial impression is it's good quality. Uh, it seems like really good quality. This casing, this housing right here is waterproof. So it's that's really nice. This antenna comes with it. You just screw the antenna on. This is for the Wi-Fi setup itself. It's got, it comes with a power adapter you plug in right there and an ethernet cable which I assume you need to hook up to your router initially to get everything configured correctly and then you can set it up Wi-Fi after that so it doesn't need to be continuously hooked up to your router you could I suppose uh, have a few of these set up as long as your ethernet cables were long enough to where you don't have to use the Wi-Fi uh, it comes with the instructions which I read a couple reviews talking about how small the print is and it is pretty small uh, but it's not it's not horrible the quick setup guide here um, is a little bit more I thought I was gonna have to read all of this but the quick setup guide kind of tells you how to do everything so we'll see if it's as easy as it says it is in here um, or if I have to refer back to this but all, in all the quality looks really good and what I'm gonna do now is is set this up where I'm gonna put it uh, either temporarily or or permanently and then we'll download the programs we'll get everything working and see see how everything goes but that's it for now let's go ahead and get to hooking it up okay so i got the camera set up and i wanted to go through a few things what i did and the apps and all of that stuff first off in this picture you can see i just set it up outside my house and the cool thing about this is it's got the waterproof uh exterior so to and basically what you need to do is take off a couple of screws to put in the SD card. So when you when it comes, you just put on the antenna like it is on the back. And then you'll take the two side screws off, which will which will take that outer housing out. Then there's two inner screws on the, the main assembly inside. And you just pull that out and throw the micro SD card in there. Um, you know, could have been made, I suppose, a little bit easier if that had an external way to get that. Because now if I ever need to get that card out or replace it, I've got to take that off and get in there manually. Uh, the way you set everything up with this, as far as the apps and on your computer, you see that the, there's the power cord there that goes to the, a power outlet. There's also the the uh, the the cord that you plug in straight to your your modem. And in order to get the all the the configuration and everything you've got to have it hard line plugged in before you can use the Wi-Fi um, so that's what I did and you know like I said in this this little booklet right here it's pretty small and hard to read and it kind of the directions aren't the greatest uh, and that's putting it mildly but this this quick start manual that I used is luckily it worked pretty well and it, everything was really easy to set up so what I did was just follow the instructions I downloaded the the net 3c or netcam 360 app which is right here and then as long as it's hardwired in you can add a device and it and it's pretty easy um, this and it show it records uh, some of your other stuff and I'll show you that here in a minute but it'll show the live feed on here if you hit if you hit that shows the live feed uh, hit back it does take up quite a bit of battery when it's running though uh, and then to change some of the settings in here like your alarm settings when you want it to record I have mine to record uh, when it's motion detected and it's got the sense of sensitivity uh, and all of these kind of just kind of have to play with and figure out how they work but it does like I said it does have you know the messages it does record and if there is any motion you can check out you can set it up to record I've got mine for for uh, 60 seconds but and the motion in this one is just the trees moving around um, and that's the the mobile app and it works pretty well and it works even if you're you know somewhere else uh, it doesn't you don't have to be connected to your Wi-Fi setting so you could be at work uh, this is the computer app that I wanted to show you and let me close this full screen real quick and I'll restart this and I'll kind of show you how it works 
this it just asks you if you want to run it because it's unknown it's, it's safe to do so so far i've had no problems with it uh, when you first set it up you're you're not going to have anything in this list down here so what you're going to want to do is go to system set or not system set and it's cancel that you go to device set and if you click on add oh if you click on search tools open search tools as long as this is hardwired in there uh, you just hit the search and it's going to find that device um, I'm not going to do anything with mine um, also once you get that so once you get that right there you just click that and drag it over and then it'll show your live feed um, playback will show you the what it's recorded so if you have your alarm set up and this works with the app as well so if you change settings on this it will change it on your app as well uh, let's see let's go down here and go right there that's the night vision and I'll show you that here just well I'll show you that right now actually um, night vision this is with zero light on outside so the infrared works pretty well um, just like any any night vision camera you'd expect to see uh, there's me walking around you can't see faces but uh, you can't tell when somebody's there or somebody's pulling up uh, and daytime camera uh, it's got a really good picture uh, and what you want to do is if you want to change some of the settings on this if you just double click where it says Wi-Fi cam and then you can change and if you hit refresh it's going to show the like I'll show you my SD schedule if you hit refresh it shows you that I was just testing it out and I've got those marked as when I wanted to record um, you've got your network settings don't really need that date and time if you just put synchronize with PC uh, works great uh, alarm this is where you can set your alarm the motion sensitivity the smaller the value the more sensitive the detector I've got mine set at six default it sets at five um, and this is all stuff I set in my my app my mobile app and it transferred over to here so basically the, the apps and everything take a little bit because the directions aren't that great so you have to kind of figure them out but as far as installing everything you don't have to be you know it's basically step by step follow the limited directions you have and the camera works great the the sensitivity I'm still working on that um, I might even get another camera because this is great for one angle but I can't get my front porch and all of that um, and you can set up I've got this set up to where um, it's only one screen but you can set it up if you've got four cameras or, or even more, um, 64. That's a big setup. But I've only got one, so that's what I've got here. But all in all, the camera is, um, you know, for the price, it's a, it's a good camera. That, Like I said, you've got to figure this stuff out. And the apps are a little bit wonky, but it works like it should. I did a review on a little another security set that I got and um, wasn't able to, as conveniently anyway, get it to record it it basically you had to get um you know the external recorder this just records i've got a 32 gigabyte gigabyte card in there and it records just the stuff i need so it's always on and i can always look at it but if the the motion sensor didn't get tripped it's not going to record and then i believe it also records over the old stuff so it never you know once it gets full it records over your oldest stuff so uh, one thing I have to do it, that I haven't figured out yet is how to download the files without getting into the camera unscrewing all those screws and pulling out the SD card um, I'm gonna try to figure that out I'm not saying it's not possible I just haven't figured it out yet uh, right now what I do is use a screen recording software and you can get those for free but record if I need anything I can record that uh, and save it to my to my computer uh, but that's it. Like like I said, all in all, I've read some some of the reviews, and some of them weren't all that great. And maybe they've improved some stuff since then. But um, my, uh, you know, I didn't have any problems with it at all. Getting set up was I was a little worried, but it's actually a little bit easier than than I thought. Uh, appreciate it, everyone. We'll talk to you later.